Right, hey guys, Rafe Quichelino today, we're back with Dark Episode 4. Just want to say a massive thank you guys for the likes on Episode 2 and 3. We nearly reached 100 likes on both of them. I think we're around about 75 at the moment each. I want to say thank you for guys all leaving your comments. I have took your advice, I won't be, doing, won't be looking at any family trees. To be fair, it doesn't seem so complicated yet. It looks like we've got three main, I think we've got three main families. Um... And we're going back like we've got three generations so we have the kids the adults and their parents so it looks like we'll be following multiple generations one thing i've been thinking about quite a lot is me kit mikhail um with him being stuck in time if it depends if the show does separate timelines or not or it's just going to be one continuous if it's one continuous he's got to be one of the characters in the show at the moment the only person i can narrow that down to is the guy with the hood who we don't have any clue what he's doing he's the one who's dragging the bodies around and be standing outside the cave. And maybe the one who guy who committed suicide. I'm not too sure about that one though. Um, but it would make would make sense-ish as he would be that age. And if I believe not, Hannah Hannah was a kid at the bus stop at the time. And that's who that guy goes out with. Because then she has an affair. But if that is the case, that'd be fucking weird. Because I'd be like, what? In, the person you have an affair with is, is his dad. So that'd be fucked up if that was the case. Or he's the guy, or he's one of the other, but he's got to be one of the adults if if the timeline if the timeline sort of fits with that. So that'd be pretty interesting. Or it's a separate timeline where whatever he does here doesn't affect the future, but I don't think it's going to be one of those time travel shows. Um, so I'd be very interested to see what they're going to try and do with his character. Or or he gets back, but then I gets back, and then it seems to be everything linked to whatever the scientists are doing. It seems. One thing I sort of gathered is we have a lot of nuclear power, which picked up massively, so, and every time, and it feels like the nuclear plant, when they're doing the black hole thing, I'm assuming what they're doing in the chair, doing some black hole mess about time, because the lights flicker whenever the time travel thing sort of activates, so it looks like they're using the power of the city, and you obviously need a mass amount of power, and the only way they got the need that is through nuclear waste, which they have quite a lot in barrels. So it looks like they're doing some of the. I think they're using an enormous amount of power to maybe make a black hole. I'm not. I'm not very science. I don't know too much about science and how black holes work, but it seems like they're using a lot of energy. So I'm curious what that is actually for. Is that for the time travel? You got a guy making the bloody mysterious. Survival. There's so much going on in this show. This discussion is going to go on forever, but um, we've got so much going on with. We've got so much going on with the power plant, the families. But yeah, it seems a lot's going on in this show. I really want to know what they're doing with all the power lacks. Like the lights are flickering. So obviously the force of black hole. And does someone needs to be swapped for them to go back in time? As we know, Mads went disappearing the time when Mikel went back. So and then he and his. his was it his dead body that ended in the future? So did they do the experiment back then and his body ended up in the future and then he got pulled back? As we know, the sort of black hole riff theory thing is that when they were both in the cave, they could still hear each other, but they couldn't see each other. So that would make sense with a tear like, in time. Fuck, I love this show. I could, I could sit here and talk about it all day. I was just like, there's a guy, someone at work I've been uh, at work with, and work with. He's on. He's just starting the show as well, and he's on. He's just got to finish it. He was on episode three as well, and we were just discussing it, like what they could and that what the show's going to do. It's so fucking goddamn interesting, and I'm loving it. Um, I'm looking forward to jumping in this episode, guys. Sorry if I went and I went on a bit, but I just enjoyed the show, and I thought I'm going to get some of my thoughts out there. But I'm looking forward to jumping into this. So, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe. You've been doing fantastic so far. Uh, normally this comes out for Sunday, but this is a bonus episode just because the guy, you guys, you've been smashing that like button. I think you deserve to get the episodes out as you're doing me a huge favour. Anyway, and also I want to sort of keep on top of it. I don't want to forget stuff. But guys, I should be to this. Hi. Oh, I'm, here. I'm excited. I wonder what I'm going to do this episode. See, he could be Mikawa as well, my two guesses. Let's see if the guy commits suicide or that guy, the hood, because they'd be about that age. I am really impressed by this shot at the moment, I've got to admit, like the, the, the photography of it, the way it's shot, editing, the atmosphere, the sort of adult story, time travel doing, done well so far. I was going to say, she looks well done innocent. The smile, <laughs> that well evil. <laughs> That seems different from her because I think at the start of the show she pretty much ignored him, so that's a big deal her saying that. Are they focused on this kid a lot? I feel like she's going to go like missing in a minute. Ich bin zwar kein Ornithologe, aber diese weißen Flecken hier im Gefieder, die sind untypisch für die Art. 
So I'm guessing the air explosion to do with like the sound, what's called, because when they do the people to cheer, the eyes go, then do a sound, I'm guessing only animals can hear it. Or might be something else. God, I could not do this. I'd be just so fucking terrified. We're gonna see the cooler guy behind him. Oh no. But you're not going to comfort her at all. Like, fucking hell, you can tell it's fucking building up. Sure, oh, we've got another Playboy. I love how the show gives you the information you need pretty damn quick. Oh, this car's got the soil. Oh, he's been. Oh, someone's framed him, hasn't he? You've been framed, mate. They put the red dirt everywhere on his car. It's on the white wheels at the back as well. Unless he did do it. Who knows? Hmm. Things are getting interesting. This guy planning his raid or something. Screw the warrant managers going in. Soil, it's everywhere. Just the usual. Okay, that means animals because humans won't be able to hear that. Nach Tschernobyl sind sie vermehrt aufgetreten, eine Form von Mutation. Du meinst, sie sind verstrahlt? It's because using a ridiculous amount of power in it to power whatever they're doing. Tear a hole in time, make back hole, boy. No, she wants to go missing, mate, along with the other kids. Should have took that off, a kid. And that's the bolt from earlier. Is that way he was dragged out, wasn't it? Should really go pick up a door. I'm getting worried that the door is going to get taken. She's. I wanted to investigate. Was like fuck. You been robbed, love. Was ich damit will? Ich will raus aus diesem scheiß verlogenen Loch. Vorne nur freundliches Lächeln, aber eigentlich lügen sich alle nur an. Das ist doch nicht anders. Mate, you got you there, love. Vielleicht fängst du mal damit an, die Wahrheit zu sagen. Du willst die Wahrheit? Okay. Meine Eltern schlafen seit einem Jahr in getrennten Betten. Mein Vater in Wirklichkeit auf Schwänze steht. Die Ehe ist kaputt und niemand spricht es aus. Stattdessen sitzt jeden Tag ein dickes, fettes Geheimnis mit am Tisch. Und es ist von den Brötchen und von der Butter und von der selbstgemachten Butter. Bis es keinen Platz mehr gibt zwischen dem Geheimnis und den Wänden drumherum. Bis man nicht mehr atmen kann. Ooh, letting the emotions overcome him. Guess he needs to find comfort in some way. Is he the one with the girlfriend or is that the other friend? I 
No, stay support. God damn it. That means she's getting kidnapped. Oh, crazy man's leaving. Oh, he's not crazy. Because he knows shit. Tick tock. I love how easily you can get out of the building. You would think there'd be a fucking least a guard or someone stopping him from leaving. <laughs> Did he get fucking caught? For fuck's sake. He'd be fucking beat as well. We weren't going to get in with these ones, let's be honest. <laughs> He won't be able to do a hop and just walk in there and storm the building. Ich bin in 15 Minuten da. <sighs> Not gonna see a point of view for ages now, are we? Oh, got the hat. That's a great sign that she's okay. Fuck's sake. What would go through your head if you saw that? I don't know if we just keep adding more mysteries on top of that. The fucked one we have already. <laughs> keep you guessing. She's fine. Okay, that was unexpected. Wo warst du denn? Okay, she didn't get steal it stolen hast then. Du so lange oh, that's not great. Pocket watch. Wer hat dir das geschenkt? Ich will wissen, wer dir das geschenkt hat. Wer ist Noah? Never. Did she interact with anyone called Noah in the past, in the last episode? I don't believe so. Time. Time traveler. I need answers. What's going on? Who get who's Noah? Fucking hell. Finger weg von meinen Sachen. Oh, yeah, the lipstick. He's feared. Always giving him a. Uh, pointing him in the right direction. <laughs> See, who's that? See, I don't think. Vorher bestimmt. Durch den Anfang und das Ende. I want to know more. <laughs> God damn it. Stop keeping me in the dark. Literally. Ooh, so, I did something there I didn't even mean to do. <laughs> Noah. Noah. Ah, yes. Who's this Noah guy? Oh, is that thing his um, boyfriend? Ah, god damn it. Why do you want to go to school on your own? You fucking idiot. Well, that didn't go the way I thought it was. I thought it would be the girl, but no, it took the boy instead. Why'd you ever walk to school if there's a wood you have to go through? What the fuck does no snow want? Well, we have the name of our villain. Definitely have to keep an eye out for a no if we go back in the time at any point. Can okay, help, mate. Even more questions than before. We can, mate. Don't know what to say. It's a show it just keeps keeps building on the mystery. I've been enjoying it. It just keeps adding on to layers. So, so far we we know they're trying to open up a black hole. Well, they open up a black hole with the power, I'm guessing. This is more of an assumption than a guess. Uh, more of an assumption, in fact. They, 
believe Mikkel is somewhat one of the adults. I'm going to guess it might be the one who committed suicide, but I also might be the one, the guy, the stranger. We have a Noah guy we don't know too much about. That'd be pretty. I want to know more about him. I'm guessing he's the main villain or villain or whatever's going on with the <coughs> whatever his goal is. Um, the power plant obviously doing some shady shit. We need to know more about what the fuck they're doing. For we've got so much to keep track of. Um, and then the coppers, Charlotte's husband. Obviously, there's a family strain there, and then he's got the red dust in the car. So is someone trying to frame him for the murder, or trying to keep Charlotte off the tr trail. Then obviously the guy went inside the house and did something to the map, which Jonas is now going to see when he next looks at it. So we've got that going on. We've still got the Mikel stuff. We've still got the math stuff. We've still got so much mystery, and I love it. I love the fact there's so much mystery, and we can slowly unravel it as it goes. I love shows like this where you can just like slowly try and piece stuff together and get an understanding of what the fuck's going on. We don't even know what's in the note yet. <laughs> we've got some of the older generation. We've not really seen the hotel's mum speak much because she was the CEO of the power plant, so she obviously knows stuff. They bring up Chernobyl a few times. Oh my God, we've got so much to keep track of, and I love it. But guys, I could ramble on for ages, so I'm gonna try and keep this short, as the video has been pretty long. I've been here for nearly an hour now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did please leave a like and subscribe next episode should be sunday hopefully you enjoyed be careful try and don't spoil me when i when i'm when i'm giving my theories and theories stuff don't confirm it because you're just going to spoil it and yeah or don't even say i'm on the right track that also spoils it so guys hopefully you enjoyed peace